Detroit is truly a glow when people work together for the greater good. I'm Michaela Armstead reporting from the Western Book Cadillac. The Detroit A Glow Dinner and Fundraiser has been a downtown tradition for more than a quarter century. The 2011 event took place at the historical Western Book Cadillac Detroit. This event is hosted by Detroit Downtown Partnership. It supports Detroit and it is an opportunity for CEOs and business professionals to be together. And even though we have a lot of challenges tonight, it's all about celebrating the holiday season, sharing with each other, and recognizing the good things that are going on in our city. Detroit Aglow is a Thanksgiving celebration that brings together an outstanding gathering of approximately 600 of the region's key leaders. Guests represent the area's top economic development, real estate, construction property management, and architectural firms, as well as banking, legal, insurance, gaming, and automotive companies. Top government, philanthropic, and nonprofit leaders also attend this popular sellout event. This is going to raise money and awareness, so two things, raise money and awareness for Downtown Detroit Partnership. And Downtown Detroit Partnership has several programs that benefit the city of Detroit. Clean Downtown Detroit, which means that we send out trucks with Goodwill employees that go and they clean up the streets every single day, 211 on the go, or we're actually taking vehicles out to the streets to, to homeless people to say, you know, can we help you get your driver's license, identification, job interviews, your resume. So these are important programs, the lighting in Detroit, to try to get the streets light so that people feel safe when they're walking the streets of Detroit. All of these programs are under the umbrella of Downtown Detroit Partnership, and Detroit Aglow is the, is the event of the year, and it's sold out, by the way, we'll have over 600 people here tonight, that allows us some of the funding that we need to support these programs. It's also dependent on a lot of our sponsors. So the people that you see here tonight, many of them give money from their companies or individually beyond tonight to support downtown Detroit partnership programs for the city of Detroit. Well, I think Detroit's really coming alive and it emphasizes what's happening downtown Detroit. And uh, this particular organization, uh, you can see it's a sellout. Uh, and it's going to have great events in the future, such as the Grand Prix that's coming back. It's going to be June 1st through the 3rd. And there's a commitment there already from ABC Sports. They're going to telecast three years in a row. So it's really a catalyst for a lot of good things that happen, uh, not only in downtown Detroit, but makes the whole region look good. Well, what I think is that we, in order for us to compete, we're no longer just city to city competing. We are now regions competing. And uh, our region is relatively strong, even though our city is having some problems right now. But we've got a lot of assets, a lot of good people within the region, and we, use, we need to bring all of that together for one accord. Leadership and the attendants are focused on the future of Detroit, working together and steering the younger generation in the direction helping the city's future. You should get involved in something that you believe in, but it's really, really important to engage. You should, like, just like you all, um, being part of what's going on, telling the story, finding a way to have leadership, to communicate, to do things, whether it's hands-on, sit on a board like I do. It's very, very important. Well, part of it is a, a lot of volunteering, uh, be, do internships, uh, and volunteer at events uh, such as well, in the past, you could volunteer for the Super Bowl, but like now the Grand Prix is going to be coming uh, coming back June 1st through 3rd. Volunteer and become active in that. Uh, hopefully there will be a uh, playoff game with the Lions. Uh, volunteer to help in that area and, and you know when they play and things like that. So there's, there's a lot of things. It starts with volunteering, and then a lot of it a lot of times leads to jobs. I always like to say that working independently, we can be successful and we can get things done but working together collaboratively, all companies, with our politicians and with the civic leaders and the business leaders, then we can really leverage the power of all of our capacity together and really, really strengthen this community. So independently, you can move forward, but together you can really skyrocket, and that's what we're trying to do, and it's, it's working. Volunteer chefs carve the turkey for the traditional Thanksgiving dinner. The holiday season is always a great time to step back and appreciate the good things about our region. I'm Dylan Clark, reporting from Youth Neighborhood News, where we bring you the younger side of the news. <laughs>